the banana among the trees of paradise. Since its introduction to the new colonies, this fruit blossomed into a multi-billion dollar industry fertilized by the blood of peasants. The systematic butchery by United Fruit and its CIA-backed paramilitaries ensured a long St. Bartholomew's night. All the men of the village of Cajon del Rio were exterminated. Those of Tituque had their intestines gouged out with knives. In Piedra Parada, they were flayed alive. In Agua Blanca de Ipala, they were burned alive after being shot in the legs. A rebellious peasant's head was stuck on a pole in the center of San Jorge's plaza. In Cerro Gordo, the eyes of Jaime Velasquez were filled with pins. The head of Jose Guzman was chopped into a mass of tiny pieces and scattered along the road. In Los Mixcos, Ernesto Chinchilla's tongue was cut out. In San Lucas Sacatepeques, the wells yielded corpses instead of water. Mexican campesinos in Chiapas reported that the rivers from Guatemala contained so many corpses that it was impossible to bury them all. The rivers ran red, and the smell of burning and rotting corpses was a permanent fact of life. To this day, Chiquita, the spawn of United Fruit, along with Dole and Del Monte, collaborate with known terrorist groups. Post 9-11, Chiquita is the first U.S. company to be charged by the U.S. Justice Department for aiding the terrorist groups of Colombia known as the AUC, FARC, and ELN all on the U.S. State Department lists of foreign terrorist organizations. The Quran mentions the banana among the trees of paradise, but the bananization of Latin America suggests that it is a tree of hell.